pony. Earth is not round, but flat. You want proof? Why would the ocean look so perfectly flat if the world was flat? Why ask you? What are you doing, Jimbo? I, I have a, uh, uh, <laughs> I was, um, um. You making a video about how Earth is flat? Yeah, yes, I am. And it is. The oceans seem flat because the Earth is really large and we are too small and close to the surface to notice. Even from a hot air balloon or plane, we are relatively close. Meanwhile, the lowest satellites orbit 100 miles up to 1,240 miles. And this is only low Earth orbit. What, what, what about our oceans? If Earth really was a ball hurtling through space, water would be wobbling all over the place. It's called gravity. Jimbo. Gravity is a result of mass. The larger the object in space, the more gravity in place. The moon has less mass. This is why astronauts were jumping so high. But even though it's smaller and farther, the moon still has an effect. This is why we have tides. Gravity? Ha! Ah! Astronauts on the moon? Double. Ha! Ah! You don't accept gravity? So how is everything around us being pulled towards Earth's core all the time? I'm not so sure, but... Astronauts don't exist either. You ever heard of NASA? One big conspiracy. All those pics of round Earth are photoshopped. Composite. Oh, not this again. Look, taking a panoramic shot on your phone is a composite. Does that mean it's fake? No. Even so, not all of NASA's photos are composite. There are many thousands of images from space, and every one is a fake? That's their job. Fake photos? Make them. Fake news? Make it. Conspiracy. Remember when we talked about climate change, Jimbo? Conspiracies only work on small levels. And even then, good luck keeping secrets. Bah! I keep the secret you're not a real professor, don't I, prof? Look, imagine NASA is your class. Could your classmates keep a secret like faking a moon landing or would leak out to the rest of the school? Duh, of course they could. We're bros. Then how do I know about you mixing your boogers with oat boat cereal? Who told you that? My point exactly. Almost everything leaks. In order for Earth to be flat and all else that goes with that conspiracy, you would need every working scientist, sea captain, pilot, government, and space agency to be in on and keep such a complex secret for thousands of years. That's what I'm saying. Even if NASA kept this big secret, there are other space agencies from Europe, Russia, China, Canada, and more that have been to space and have seen around Earth. Now you want me to believe Russia? Fake news. You haven't cited one source, Jimbo. So who's the real alternative fact pusher? Okay. If the Earth was so round, why do planes fly straight instead of constantly dipping? My uncle drives trucks coast to coast. He doesn't go down and around. He goes straight. Sources. Can you explain the difference between night and day? Okay. 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 The sun. Okay. All right. The, the sun rotates around the edge. Night is on the far side of the sun. Duh. Even if that were true, light would still touch up parts of the disc. Look, I'm gonna video call my friend in Italy right now. Pronto? Ciao, Chef Avogadro. Oh, hey, Professor Lombardi. Come stai? Bene, uh, quick question. Is it night there? Of course, it's uh, 10 p.m. over here, why? Do you see any far distant sun? What? No, it's, uh, you see the stars, la luna, but no far distant sun. Grazie. I'll call you later, Chef Avogadro. Buonanotte. Okay. Buonanotte. Ciao. See, Jimbo, the only explanation for this is that my friend is on the opposite side of a sphere where the sun don't shine. <laughs> the sun don't shine? Like, kiss me with the sun don't shine. This is a long established science, starting with the ancient Greeks in the 6th century BC. Then Eratosthenes was actually able to measure the circumference of Earth by comparing the shadow lengths at two different places at the same time of the year. That's ancient history! Sailors of the Middle Ages, like Magellan, demonstrated a round Earth, and spy glasses showed a ship on the horizon where parts of the ship would appear and disappear. That's like the Dark Ages. Well, today you can look up raw footage on YouTube showing this observation from super zoom lenses. I can go on and on. Please, please don't. Then let me ask you this, Jimbo. How could anybody benefit by lying about a spherical Earth? They're just trying to keep us down, man. Look, in order for such a grand conspiracy to work, believers have to force fit certain ideas. Meanwhile, science has been built upon centuries of observable evidence. Got it.
to get this. Ser seriously? Who even calls you? Ugh. Now where was I? Oh yeah, Earth is flat. Like this blanket. In this episode of the... In this episode of Lombardi Labs, my pupil Jimbo is obviously a puppet. One maiden played by talented friends, but still a puppet. Hey! Yet Jimbo represents a very real perspective of so-called flat earthers. A solid education in the sciences can help prevent such illogical beliefs. Truly understanding the scientific method can help us trust the scientific community and not be misled by flashy conspiracy theorists with their alternative facts. When in doubt, try these three simple steps when presented with a theory. Step one, check evidence from reputable sources, such as Google Scholar, which acts like a super filter showing only published peer-reviewed studies. Step two, be skeptical. Not everything online is factual. Step three, look for conflicts of interest and signs of conspiracy. Who's saying it and why is half the story? In short, trust the scientific process. Till next time. Sure. Oh. 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 Yep, gravity is real. Ah, smarts.